As the ceasefire agreement between Armenia and Azerbaijan continues to materialize, a number of ministerial resignations have taken place. Yesterday evening, Armenian President Armen Sarkisyan relieved Education Minister Araik Harutunyan of his post. Harutunyan, who was previously a university lecturer, had served as Minister of Education, Science, Culture and Sport since 2018. He will be replaced by Vahram Dumanyan, the Dean of the Faculty of Informatics and Applied Mathematics at Yerevan. State University. Minister of the Economy, Tigran Khachatryan, has also announced his resignation from the cabinet. And Deputy Defense Minister, Gabriel Balayan, has tendered his resignation as well. The Armenian Central Bank has announced measures to combat a devalued Armenian drum. During the last two weeks, the dollar is rising at a rapid rate against the backdrop of the drum's devaluation. According to the Rate AM website, on November 24th, banks bought dollars at 510 drums and sold them at 522 drums. In other news, the ancient monastery of Amaras in Nagorno-Karabakh is under the control of Russian peacekeepers. This was verified by journalists from Russia's Kommersant and the UK's Sky News. Azerbaijani forces are stationed a short distance away, but the confirmation has dispelled concerns that Amaras would fall under Baku's control. Reports furthermore emerged that a Russian peacekeeper was wounded in a landmine blast. The blast injured four local emergency workers and also killed one Azerbaijani serviceman. This comes as the United Nations is considering a demining deployment to Nagorno-Karabakh. This was reported by the Russian TASS news agency. Sky News Arabia and the Kurdish-led SDF are reporting that Turkey has opened two offices in Syria's Afrin for Turkmens and Arabs to apply to be transferred and settled in Karabakh. Afrin itself was a majority Kurdish area before a Turkish incursion in 2018. Yerevan Mayor Haik Marutyan has announced that Yerevan's municipality will supply the municipality of Stepanakert with 100 million drums in order to conduct reconstruction efforts. The money will be redirected from the 2020 New Year's celebrations funds. And there are further reports that are indicating that Russia and Turkey are at odds over a ceasefire observation center. Both countries agreed to open a joint observation center. However, Ankara is insisting that an independently run Turkish observation post should also be established. Talks are still continuing regarding this issue. Armenian President Armen Sarkisyan visited Jordan on November 23rd for a short visit. He met with King Abdullah II in Amman. Both leaders agreed to further relations. This comes as Armenia aims to bolster its relations with the Arab world, as many Arab leaders grow more concerned by Turkey's ambitions. In our studio, political consultant Eric Akopyan discussed what direction Armenian foreign policy should take now and what it might look like in 10 years. Eric also spoke on whether the West has lost Armenia. And finally, Silvanet's team made a report from the Karvajar region, which is due to be handed over to Azerbaijan. They spoke to the residents, many of whom are Armenians displaced from places like Getashen in northern Artsakh. Our team spoke to these families to get their perspective and to understand how they feel after being displaced for a second time.